Some were destroyed in battle. Others weren't completed. Some are laid up and can only dream about battles. But now they're getting a new lease of life. We recreate ships accurately according to their historical blueprints and send them into battle. World of Warships Dry Dock DD-354 Monaghan was the second to last destroyer out of eight Farragut-class ships that entered service in 1934 and 1935. The ship was named after young naval officer John Robert Monaghan, who had heroically fallen while saving his wounded commander on an island in the Pacific Ocean in 1899. At the beginning of the 20th century, after the United States had joined World War I, American shipyards in a mere three years built 272 destroyers belonging to the Wicks and Clemson classes known as flush deckers or four pipers. It's no surprise that the Congress would later deny funding to any new ships of that type. As a result, the development of destroyers in the US Navy would be paused for 12 years. However, every cloud has its silver lining. When the four pipers became obsolete, both in purpose and technically, at the beginning of the 1930s, specialists at the Shipbuilding Bureau within the Department of the Navy developed a destroyer project of a completely new generation without haste. Even though the limitations of the London Naval Treaty of 1930 on a standard 1,500-ton displacement of destroyers were met, the new Farragut-class ships surpassed their predecessors in every way. The hull with a forecastle provided for better seafaring characteristics than that of the flush deckers. New propulsion improved their speed and cruising range, and their artillery was presented with dual-purpose guns, five brand-new 127mm Mark 12 guns, for the first time on US destroyers. Their armaments, including two 533mm quadruple-tube torpedo launchers, were mounted along the midship line. In 1942, Monaghan and her sister ships received reinforced AA defences. The machine guns were replaced with four 20mm Erlichen guns, and four more such automatic guns were installed in place of a main battery gun. Monaghan met the outbreak of World War II for the USA at Pearl Harbor, where she immediately made a record by sinking a Japanese midget submarine. Fate led the destroyer across the entire Pacific Ocean, from the Aleutian Islands to New Guinea. She took part in the Battle of Midway and earned 12 battle stars, but she didn't survive until Victory Day. The infamous Cobra Typhoon capsized Monaghan to the east of the Philippine Islands. In our game, Monaghan is a Tier 6 American Premium Destroyer. 